Okay guys, um, I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial because I just seen one online and the guy kind of gave you the answers about how to get rid of this error code X0 XC 00006050605. Now, I got this e-machine laptop that I kind of salvaged. I brought it back to life and in 2015 I got the technical preview and let me pause this video right here because this dude actually gives you the answer to the problem when you have that 605 error is because your your Windows 10 preview has expired so with that being said what you have to do is make your computer think that it has not expired so let me show you what I'm going to do here first I'm going to show you that yes I am experiencing this error so when I first start up the computer it's going to say preparing automatic repair and then it tells me your your PC needs to be repaired a component of the operating system has expired uh, there's the error 0xc40605 okay now if you try anything like F8 or if you try enter it's it's not gonna do anything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply turn off the computer again and when I'm starting the computer up I need to go into the BIOS now some computers are different for this particular device I'm going to have to hit F2 now course that didn't work the first time so gotta be got it gotta do it quick on some devices they, they they really don't even give you a chance ah there we go they they really don't even give you but a second to go uh, and select that option so now I'm gonna go over here to my main menu and then I'm simply going to roll back the date two years now the reason why I'm going to just roll it back two years is because it looks like all of these dates expired in 2015. Now I can tell you that my restore points on this particular device were in July and August, and I I I tried restoring you know old restore points. None of that worked. But since they were in July and August, that let me know that Windows stopped booting on 4:30 was not the original build or the original three builds of the Windows Technical Preview. So now that I've changed the date in the BIOS, I'm going to hit F10. Save these changes, yes. And then watch what happens when the computer starts back up. Now I'm going to be 100% honest with you folks. I think I said at the beginning of this video that I salvaged this laptop. I probably shouldn't have never put the Windows 10 preview on here. It really wasn't built for Windows 10. It was built for Windows 7. And even though it's supposed to be compatible, it it it, it took its it, it's taking its own sweet ass time loading up. But as you can see, I got at least got past the boot screen and uh now i'm just waiting for the, the uh the users up see please wait what do you know and i don't uh shoot i don't even know how to get that back but today is august 22nd it is the morning of august 22nd but it said 2015 it thinks it's 2015 the computer thinks it's 2015 
So um, I was just in the administration. Um, there's two users on here because I was actually putting this together for an individual named Kimberly and all of a sudden it stopped working. So there you go. That is how you fix the Windows 10 error code 0XC0000605. You're welcome, folks. So if YouTube is going to let me uh, put these two videos back together, but I just changed my date back to 2017. And uh, let's go ahead and save these changes. And once you change the date back, it is not going to load your technical preview anymore. So when you go in and change your date, go ahead and back up your files, uh, get whatever you need to get off of your device, and then install a new operating system, either the, the, the current version of Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7. Uh, I'm going to go with 8.1 just to see how it runs. If it's not running right, I'm not going to do Windows 8. I'm just going to go right back to Windows 7. And then um, it's up to you what you want to do. If Windows 7 is lag laggy and acting funny, I'll just do something like put Ubuntu on it. It's free. You can get the ISOs at the Ubuntu website. Just Google it. Anyway, guys, enjoy. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial because I just seen one online. And the guy kind of gave you the answers about how to get rid of this error code X0 XC. 0000605. Now, I got this e machine laptop that I kind of salvaged. I brought it back to life, and in 2015, I got the technical preview. And let me pause this video right here because this dude actually gives you the answer to the problem when you have that 605 error, is because your, your Windows 10 preview has expired. So with that being said, what you have to do is make your computer think that it has not expired. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. First, I'm going to show you that, yes, I am experiencing this error. So when I first start up the computer, it's going to say preparing automatic repair. And then it tells me your, your PC needs to be repaired. A component of the operating system has expired. Uh, there's the error 0xc. 40605 okay now if you try anything like f8 or if you try enter it's it's not going to do anything so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply turn off the computer again and when i'm starting the computer up i need to go into the bios now some computers are different for this particular device i'm going to have to hit f2 Now, of course, that didn't work the first time. So, gotta be, gotta, gotta do it quick on some devices. They, they, they really don't even give you a chance. Ah, there we go. They, they really don't even give you but a second to go, um, and select that option. So now, I'm gonna go over here to my main menu, and then I'm simply going to roll back the date two years. Now, the reason why I'm going to just roll it back two years is because it looks like all of these dates expired in 2015. Now, I can tell you that my restore points on this particular device were in July and August. And I, I, I tried restoring, you know, old restore points. None of that worked. But since they were in July and August, that let me know that Windows stopped booting on 430 was not the original build or the original three builds of the Windows technical preview. So now that I have changed the date in the BIOS, I'm going to hit F10. Save these changes, yes. And then watch what happens when the computer starts back up.
Now I'm going to be 100% honest with you folks. I think I said at the beginning of this video that I salvaged this laptop. I probably shouldn't have never put the Windows 10 preview on here. It really wasn't built for Windows 10. It was built for Windows 7. And even though it's supposed to be compatible, it it it, it took its it, it's taking its own sweet ass time loading up. But as you can see, I got at least got past the boot screen. And uh now I'm just waiting for the, the uh the users up. See, please wait. What do you know? And I don't uh shoot, I don't even know how to get that back, but today is August twenty second. It is the morning of August twenty second, but it said 2015. It thinks it's 2015. The computer thinks it's 2015. So um, I was just in the administration. Um, there's two users on here because I was actually putting this together for an individual named Kimberly. And all of a sudden it stopped working. So there you go. That is how you fix the Windows 10 error code 0xc0000605. You're welcome, folks.